Hey guys and welcome back. Today is going to be my pre-op diet haul. Today is April 14th. Uh, tomorrow starts my pre-op diet. Um, I'm not nervous for the diet. I'm actually like okay with it. I'll show you um, what my surgeon's guidelines are um, about what I can have because it's not as strict I don't think as some of the others but it's not as like freeing as some of the ones where you can have like an actual meal for dinner. Um, so I'll show you that real quick and then I'm going to finish work and then I will take you upstairs and show you everything I got um, for the next 10 days. So this has been like the longest <laughs> road where I'm like, oh yeah, eventually I'll get to that. I'll get to the, the pre-op diet and tomorrow is the day, which means surgery is 10 days away. So I'm just trying to think of it as like, it's just another day. I'm just going to get some tests done and and then I'll be good. So I'm trying to like trick myself into not being nervous. So well, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, just uh, keep on watching. I'll show you uh, what my guidelines are. Okay, so this is what my surgeon's guidelines are. Um, I'm getting my surgery done at Northwestern Medicine in Huntley, Illinois. So Northern, Northern Illinois. Um, so basically I have to do a 10 day diet and I'm basically getting um, my protein from protein shakes. So I can have about three servings. Um, I use the Fairlife shakes, which are 30 each. So really I need to do like two and a half shakes um, and then I'll save the extra half for the next day or whatever. Um, or I have some Andre chicken broth that has protein in it. I'm gonna try to save that for after surgery. Um, but if I really am hating the protein shakes, I'm gonna switch to that. So that's the protein shakes. But then I also obviously can have water, um, any zero calorie beverages, uh, regular broth, this glare is horrible, broth, decaf tea, coffee. Uh, I have a bunch of popsicles. And then I can have fruit and vegetables. So up to 200 calories a day for fruit and only these specific fruits, nothing outside of that. And then I can have basically unlimited vegetables. So my plan is um, to make like minestrone, but minus the beans and pasta. So it like tastes like something that I'm used to eating. Um, so I'm gonna make that. And then I can also have salads with the Walden Farms dressing. I bought Caesar and I bought Ranch. I have not tried them yet, so they're in the uh, fridge getting cold. Um, so I'll probably try those tomorrow um, because day three of my diet is Easter. So uh, I think we're kind of just doing a low key, low key Easter. And then obviously the night before surgery, I can't anything eat anything after five, but can still have clear liquids which is fine because I'm sure I'll be so nervous that I will not want to eat anything. Um, so thankfully <laughs> that's part of the plan. Cause I've seen some places you have to drink like a full sugar Gatorade, like on your way to the hospital. Um, which is something I was always worried about because I know I would not be able to keep it down. So thankfully I don't have to do that. And then that's just keeping it a, a diary. So that is my pre-op plan and I'll show you what exactly I bought. Okay, I'm now done with work. I'm going to show you kind of what I bought for pre and a little bit post-op um, surgery and then I'll show you my fridge. There's not much in it right now. Um, but I'll just kind of give you a little example of everything I bought and if I can remember where I got it all. Okay, so starting with um, my pre-op diet so I can make some spinach and salads. Um, I have strawberries, I have apples in the fridge, carrots, zucchini for the soup I'm going to make, more stuff for the soup I'm going to make. Uh, I bought lemon juice for the apples because you can only eat like a half an apple at a time they say so I don't want it to get bad. A cucumber and celery. I can have as many dill pickles as I please. Um, this is the dressing, the Walden Farms. So there's zero everything, which I still don't really know how that's possible, but apparently it is. So we'll see, I'm gonna put those in the fridge. 
And I also got Caesar for salad. Uh, I got a bunch of sugar-free Jello, strawberry, and I think kiwi strawberry. Um, and now we're kind of transitioning to like after I've had my surgery, all my vitamins and stuff. Um, so after when I start to need to get a bunch of protein in, I bought these recovery waters. I, I bought just one just to see if I like this kind. Um, that has 20 grams. I have a bunch of um, Gatorade Zero with protein. I think there's 10 grams for the bottle, which I wish it were more, but they're already pretty thick. Like, it's not thin like Gatorade. It's a little bit thicker because of the protein. And then I got Protein 2O. Again, just one of these um, so I can try to see if I like it because they're a little pricey. Um, and then this is the Andrea I was talking about. It's chicken soup flavor. Um, it has pretty good, you have to like make sure you heat it to the right temperature and it has 21 grams of protein. They have IsoPure Plain. So I, um, when I get to the full liquids and I can have pudding, I'm going to do this with the pudding and just make it, sorry, I just let my dog in. Um, I'm gonna mix this and um, the Fairlife milk that has quite a bit of protein in um, to make like basically protein pudding. Uh, and then we get to, these I won't need for a couple weeks. I don't take these until I'm five weeks, I think. Um, Post-op, these I'll have to take uh, or I can take the first week. This is the most important. Chewable bariatric vitamins. And then once I run out of these, I can switch to the capsules because these don't have the best flavor, but it's only one pill I have to take. So I'd rather do that. And then this is a probiotic I can take one week after um, to help with gut bacteria. And this one tastes actually good. We tried it at the, um, like my last class. It tastes like a sweet tart. And then I got a pretty pill organizer. So I'll have um, I'll hit my multivitamin in the morning and then I'll split my calciums later in the evening. I think the probiotic I can take in the morning also. Um, I bought a notebook to keep track of everything. I can do it on my phone, but I don't know. I just like writing things down so I can see it. Um, I bought a bunch of these one ounce and two ounce cups and they have lids so that when I make um, puddings and stuff like that, I can portion it out and then write like the grams of protein on top. And then I bought a strainer. So when I can have soup, um, I can strain out the bits. And then I had my regular scale, I didn't buy this, but I did buy this one on Amazon to keep in my purse. It's just like a little travel one. So it's so tiny, like that's my, that's my hand, it's so tiny and compact. Um, and then this, like, I can, uh, this clips off and then I can use it as like the, the tray for the food and then I can rinse it off later um, if it's like anything messy. So that is basically all of this junk. And then I have a whole bunch of protein shakes up here. I have all the Fairlife ones. Um, Premier Protein, basically I live by myself, so this is really all for me. Um, I, I do have some snacks and stuff for my mom and sister who are gonna help me. Uh, beers for my dad when he comes to cut my grass. Uh, so then these are, I do like the Premier, um, but again, everyone likes the Fairlife and I do, they're just like not as sweet, I think. And they just like go down easier in my opinion, I don't know. Um, and then I have some Chobani Zero for, I think I can eat, start eating these the second week I'm home. And these are good way into May, so those should still be good. The Oreo ones are for my sister. Um, this is all my pudding, more Gatorade, more protein, and again, more protein, fair life, apples and onions, and... That's basically it. So that's pretty much all I have. Um, mine's stuff like I bought to bring to the hospital, but I'll do like a, a one I'm taking to the hospital kind of thing. Um, so yeah, my plan for tomorrow, and I'll, I think I'm gonna document it, 
just to see how I how I get through it. Um, I think in the morning I'm gonna make a protein coffee with decaf coffee um, and a shake and then see how long that gets me through. Uh, and then I'll go from there, I'll snack on some vegetables and probably tomorrow after work I'll make soup to have for dinner. Um, that's the plan at least, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes and uh, the, the countdown's on. It's 10, 10 days away. Just gotta, just gotta get through it. I'm not worried about the pre-op stuff. I think, I think I'll be fine with not eating as much just because I've been enjoying these last few days. I'm going out to dinner for the, not the last time, but the last time I can stomach this much food tonight um, with my family. So we, uh, we'll see. And, well, I'll see you tomorrow, not in this video, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. Bye.